Hey everybody, it's Betsy. Today is day six um, of our Back to Basics for the month of January. I know I'm getting behind, but with travel and this cold, but I promise I will catch up and you will have plenty of good things to think about this month. So tonight's topic is how do I kick off a party? How do I get my party started? So what do I do in the minutes leading up to doing my five-part party? Because we're going to have a whole other ser series of nights where we're talking about each of the parties, but or each of the segments of the party. But tonight I'm going to share with you what I do, what I like to do, it doesn't always work out this way, but ideally what I like to do uh, when after I've arrived and I'm all set up and the guests are starting to arrive too. I like to try to get the door if I can, it doesn't always work out that way, it just depends on the layout of things. Sometimes the hostess really wants to get the door, but I, I try to get the door and um, greet the guests. I like to have sticky notes with me and catalogs in my hands. Catalogs usually have an order form in each one. Um, I just try to streamline this. I don't, like I said, I don't always get this to happen, but this is how I like to do it. And so as I'm greeting different guests, I'll say, hi, I'm Betsy. Haven't met you yet. Oh, nice to meet you, Mary. Um, and I'll say, Mary, I'm going to put your name on this little sticky note on this catalog, just so you have a catalog for in a little bit. And I'll have your name on it. By the way, when is your birthday? What What's your month and day? And she'll say, January 20th. And I'll say, okay, great. So 20th, two plus zero is two. So your secret number is two. And I write a two next to her name on the little sticky note. And I hand it to her and I say, okay, your magic number is two. You'll care about that in a little, in a little while. And in the meantime, I'm giving out a ticket for every piece of jewelry that you try on before I start talking tonight. I'm only going to talk for a couple minutes in a little bit, but uh, for every piece of jewelry you try on, I'm going to give it a ticket and there'll be a prize at the end. And so I will do this with each person eventually. It doesn't always happen right as they walk in. It might be that I catch them in the kitchen. I might meet them at the door. But my goal eventually is to get everybody in around the jewelry, trying everything on, sharing their con concepts and thoughts and, um, oh, I like that one better with your neckline or, you know, oh, this is my favorite. I love how, and, I, and I'm interacting with them about the jewelry and I'm getting to know them a little bit at the same time. I'm not like focused 100% on jewelry. I'm talking to them as, as my new friends. And we're, we're sharing ideas and, and, and it doesn't matter to me that I'm giving something away about what I'm sharing in the presentation. If somebody asks me a question, I'm gonna answer it. I'm not gonna say, oh, well, wait until I, no, I'm just gonna answer it. I don't, I don't need to do that. So that's how I get started. And my goal is to have this huge roll of tickets and I wanna keep giving tickets away. So. Um, I'll be. I'll continue to check in with people. How many? How many tickets do you have? Is it five or six? And I'll I'll rip off five or six, and I'll give her five or six tickets. And how many do you have? One so far. Okay, here's one. How about you? How many more tickets do you need? And I'll just keep checking in with them, and I'll say, okay, in about ten minutes, or in about five minutes, I'm going to give you all the lay of the land. It only takes a few minutes, and then I'm going to do a drawing for a little prize with all these tickets that you've acquired. Now keep in mind. Remember, part five of the party presentation is the q and I'm going to give out five more tickets during the Q&A so that they can earn a couple more tickets for, the, for that prize, right? But now they've all got a few tickets, or a lot of tickets, and I want to make sure that I'm capitalizing on that at the very end. So that's how I kick off a party. I love the camaraderie that happens. I love that it's very interactive. It gets everybody around the jewelry table right away trying things on, and it's just fun. I mean, that's what they're, you know, they're there to talk to their friends, but if they're diving into the jewelry, we get that part over with, and then they already know what they like. Okay, that's what I do. Enjoy. Talk to you later.